This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. All right, place squares in the corners. Oh, kind of like the last puzzle. A big part of using Game Lab is understanding the position. Remember, you can always turn on the grid. Yeah, right over here, guys. This is super helpful in Game Lab for this whole section, right? So my students, you saw this on the warm up, but we can always use these. Uh, turn on Game Lab. Hover the mouse over as well, right? So you see how there's a little X. I just tried to point at the screen, but next to the cursor, there's a the little X and Y. That's the coordinates of where I am on the grid. It's also below the run button. If I hover over, way down there, there we are. Now, if I hit run though, it doesn't show next to the mouse anymore, but it does still show at the bottom. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Place two rectangles exactly in the corners of the screen. Well, if I remember right, we got one last time and it should be so if they want it to look like this, remember rectangles draw from the top left corner. So if I hit run right now, the top left corner should be at 100, 100. Let me see. Yep, you can see the numbers down there. 100, 100 roughly. So top left corner for this side down here. Well, that looks like 350, 350. And that would make sense because that's what it was when we uh, did this on the last puzzle. Okay, now let's just test. You should always test while coding. I'm going to click and drag another rectangle out. So if that was 350, 350 at the top right, you might not even have to use the mouse for this one. What do you think it would be up here? Well, what's this number? Let's try it out. Zero, zero. And does this look like, yep, we got it. Onward.